Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, purple uh, square fully inscribed uh, in a triangle ABC, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the side length uh, of this uh, triangle uh, BC is uh, 13 units, the side length uh, AB is uh, 14 units, and finally, the side length uh, AC is uh, 15 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, square. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Before we can do anything else, we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC first. So therefore, we are going to focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, ABC without uh, this uh, purple uh, square. And we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, ABC by using the Heron's formula. And here's our Heron's formula, area equals to the square root of S times S minus A times S minus B times uh, S minus C, where S is equal to A plus B plus C all over 2. And this uh, S is called the semi-perimeter. And now I'm going to label uh, this side length as lowercase a, this side length uh, lowercase b, and this side length uh, lowercase c. And now we are going to fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. Our a value is uh, 13, b value is uh, 15, and uh, c value is uh, 14. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have substituted those uh, values. Let's go ahead and simplify. So S is going to be equal to 42 divided by 2. So therefore, our S value turns out to be 21 units. And here's our next step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle. We know our S value is uh, 21. So I'm going to replace 21 over here. Once again, our S value is 21. A value is uh, 13. So I'm going to plug it in 13 over here. S value is once again 21 minus B value is 15. And finally, S value is 21 and C value is 14. As you can see in this uh, next step, I have substituted all those uh, S, A, B, and uh, C values over here. And now let's go ahead and simplify furthermore. That is going to give us a square root of uh, 21 times uh, 8 times uh, 6 uh, times uh, 7 and now I'm going to tweak uh, this uh, 21. 21 could be written as uh, 7 uh, times uh, 3. As you can see in this uh, next step I have uh, broken down this 21 as 7 times 3 and now we can write this uh, 7 times 7 is uh, 49 and times if we multiply 3 times 8 times 6 is going to give us uh, 144 as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see the square root of 49 is uh, 7 and the square root of 144 uh, is uh, 12 so therefore we can write uh, this one as uh, 7 times uh, 12 and that is going to give us uh, 84 so therefore the area of this uh, triangle ABC turns out to be 84 uh, square units and here's our next step. I have dropped uh, this uh, perpendicular uh, CE on this side uh, AB. And now we are going to calculate uh, the length of this uh, CE perpendicular. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height. And in our case, uh, the base of this triangle uh, ABC is uh, 14 and the height uh, of this uh, triangle is uh, CE and the area of this uh, triangle ABC is uh, 84. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. The area of this triangle is uh, 84 equals to a half uh, times the base of this triangle is uh, 14 times height uh, is uh, CE length. And now let's simplify. We are going to get 84 equal to 7 uh, times our uh, length uh, CE 
and now I'm going to divide both sides by 7. This 7 and 7 is gone. So therefore, our CE length turns out to be 12 units. So therefore, our this whole CE length turns out to be 12 units. And now let's focus on this right triangle CEB. And now let's recall the Pythagorean triplets 5, 12 and 13. We know these uh, side lengths uh, 13, 12. So therefore, uh, this leg has got to be 5 units. So that's how this uh, BE length uh, turns out to be 5 units. And we know our this whole length uh, AB is 14. So therefore, this uh, remaining uh, length uh, AE is going to be 14 minus 5 is going to give us uh, 9 units. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this angle is 90 degrees uh, and this angle is 90 degrees as well. And furthermore, uh, this angle and this angle, they are uh, congruent since they are our uh, corresponding uh, angles. So therefore, we conclude that our these two right triangle uh, CPF, we are talking about uh, this right triangle uh, CPF and this uh, other big uh, right triangle uh, C, E, B are uh, similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. And since uh, these two triangles are uh, similar, so therefore we are going to have uh, proportions. As you can see over here, the ratio of uh, C, P and P, F is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, C, E and uh, E, B. And here we can see our uh, C, E length uh, is uh, 12. And our this uh, EB length uh, is uh, 5. And since we got these uh, two ratios as equal, so therefore we can conclude uh, that uh, CP length equals to 12 times some constant uh, K. And our uh, PF length is going to be equal to 5 times some constant uh, k and now our task is to find the value of this constant k. So therefore our uh, CP length uh, turns out to be 12 times k and our this uh, FP length is uh, 5 times k. And now let's make an observation. We can see this angle and this angle they are congruent uh, since they are our corresponding angles. So therefore we conclude that these uh, two right triangle, uh, triangle uh, CPD and this other right triangle uh, CEA are uh, our similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportions. So therefore we are going to have a two ratios CP divided by PD is going to be equal to CE divided by EA. And we know our uh, CE length uh, is uh, 12 and our EA length uh, is uh, 9 as you can see in this uh, next step. And since uh, these two ratios are equal, so therefore we conclude that our CP length is going to be 12 times some constant K and our PD length is going to be 9 times some constant K as well. So therefore our this uh, PD length turns out to be 9 times K. And now let's make an observation. We can see that our this uh, whole uh, df length uh, is going to be 9k plus uh, 5k is going to give us uh, 14 uh, times k. And since uh, this uh, df is the side length of this uh, purple square, so therefore uh, the purple square side length turns out to be 14 uh, times uh, k. And now since we are dealing with this uh, purple square, so all these uh, side lengths uh, are uh, equal. We know the side length of this purple square is uh, 14k. So therefore uh, this uh, side uh, is going to be 14 times k. And since uh, these uh, sides uh, and this uh, PE length are equal, so therefore our this uh, PE length uh, turns out to be 14 times k. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole uh, CE length is going to be the sum of these two individual lengths, uh, 12K plus uh, 14K. And that is going to be equal to 26 uh, times uh, K. And this uh, CE length uh, is also equal to 12. 
So I can equate uh, these uh, two numbers. I can write down uh, 26 k equals to 12. Let's divide both sides by 26. So therefore uh, our k value turns out to be if we reduce this one that is going to give us uh, 6 uh, divided by 13 units. Now we can see our k value turns out to be 6 divided by 13. So therefore this purple uh, square side length is going to be 14 times k and I'm going to replace this k value by 6 divided by 13 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step I have substituted k value over here. So therefore this turns out to be 84 divided by 13. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, square. And now let's recall the area of a square formula. Area equal to S square where S represents the side length of the square. And in our case uh, the side length of this uh, purple square is 84 divided by 13. So therefore this purple square area is going to be simply 84 divided by 13 uh, whole uh, square. And if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 7056 uh, divided by 169. So thus the area of this uh, purple square turns out to be 7056 divided by 169 square units. And that is going to be approximately equal to 41.75 square units as well. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.